Hey you guys, it's Mix JB back with another video. And in this part of my Race and Ethnic Studies Senior Capstone Project series, I would like to talk about looking for, looking towards spirituality for sanctuary at a PWI. And so let's jump right into it. So for me, this topic kind of stems from my own positionality and understanding of my school that I attend right now. And I go to a school that is predominantly white institution and is also private and Christian, specifically in the Lutheran faith and tradition. And for me, what's making this experience quite unique is trying to find my balance in navigating a school that's predominantly white and Christian while me, myself, not necessarily identifying as as Christian, but understanding the implications of growing up Christian, what that privilege gave me, and also trying to find my own spiritual practice that makes sense and works for me. And so specifically why I chose to make this video is because I found that coming toward, coming to my own understanding, going through my classes, things of that nature, I found myself drifting away more and more from the, pra the religious practice of Christianity, um, the organized religion that is Christianity. And that's mainly because of the histories, the brutal histories of racism, misogyny, homophobia, and transphobia enacted by members of the specific Christian community onto not only me, myself, but the communities, those marginalized communities, and more in general. And for me, I felt learning more African traditional religions and spiritualities felt right for me, not only from a heritage standpoint, but also from just what I was studying, um, what I felt was resonating with me. And I feel like here, I like to talk a little bit about what practicing something different feels like on campus. For me, it feels as though it's not something you can address and talk about with everyone because everyone treats non-Christian religions. When I say everyone, I mean Christian communities. Christ many people in many Christian communities find that if you are not practicing Christianity, you are automatically demonic. And this dichotomy of Christian being good, non-Christian, an umbrella term of non-Christian is bad, is demonic, feels very dogmatic feels very simplistic and it's not realistic at all. It comes from a very ethnocentric standpoint from people who practice religion to assinuate that their religion is the most correct, that their religion is the most accurate, that it is the most acceptable. And I find that this is mainly the case in not only the United States, but in many countries where Christianity is the main practice. I feel here, I'm called to talk about my own experience when it comes to being a hoodoo practitioner. Um, what that is in a nutshell is reaching out to my own ancestors. Um, my own family members specifically who have since passed on, um, those who I know and those who I don't know to give me spiritual guidance and practice. And I feel as though this, for me personally, I do subscribe to using hoodoo in a way that incorporates some Christian elements. And for some Christians, this would be unacceptable um, to taint their religion with other religious practices when it has been happening since the beginning of time. Especially, I would like to call a lot of attention to the histories of slavery in the Americas, where you have many different tribal 
Africans coming to the Americas, Latin America, Central and North. And in a lot of their experiences, they are often forced to communicate, to live together, not even knowing one another. But in this not knowing of one another, we have the emergence of many different African traditional and religions and spiritualities that we see today. Not only do we have voodoo and hoodoo, but we have kamandole, which is also very common in Brazil. For example, I feel here many times being on a PWI, there is no space for you if you are not Christian. And what I mean by that is there wasn't a push for any conversation outside of Christianity for the m most part. And if other religions and spiritualities were absent, that just was what it was. It didn't matter to the powers that be what the minority students were experiencing. Even atheist students, I would say. And so looking to spirituality has given me sanctuary because it's a practice where I can decide for myself what I want to do, how I want to do it, but also the power that it gives to self-empower yourself through your own natural gifts and then find community with those who also experience life in a similar way has been very powerful for me in particular. So, with that being said, I believe we are all called to not only represent ourselves in our most authentic way when it comes to our spiritual and religious practices, but to also make space for those who are not of our own path. And in doing so, we only build stronger communities. And this isn't a call for diversity for diversity's sake, but a call for understanding, respecting, and making space for those who we see different from ourselves. And in the process, we only make ourselves stronger by understanding how billions of people who live on this earth experience life differently, experience life for themselves, and most importantly, walk to the beat of their own drum. I hope this video has resonated with you in some way. I hope you have walked away with something positive in terms of understanding not only my practice, but also how we can continue to come together as individuals, understanding that everyone is different. Everyone has different walks of life and doing so in a way that is not ethnocentric. Okay, until the next one, I'll see you all in the next video.